we're taking you on the road with us. Exciting times. Do not turn the inflow heating on, which some people do. Try and force dry it. Do not do that. Now, I'm going to hold the camera, turn this around, and show you how to back up this tile up holding the blooming camera. Hi guys, how you doing? Right, today we're at one of our projects. I would lay on a limestone floor today. We've already got some matting down. I'm gonna walk you through into where we've been working already, show you roughly what we're gonna be doing, what we're using. So we're taking you on the road of us. Exciting times, here we go. So we've got this here, managed to get our tent out. The weather's not been great recently. Actually stopped us yesterday. So today we're gonna to be on the nine inch grinder. We've got all our mixing equipment. So this tent comes right in handy. Got some boards down, try and keep the mud down. So my main man, Alex, is here he's a good lad the old apprentice so left him here the other day and he's made a blinding job he's done about 68 square meters of mat in here i think the floor was all sorted out by our friends at rs pumping yeah they made a really good job of it actually and everything's bang on clients have got it really really good for us it's nice and clean and tidy for us we've got a few floor lights here i've just got to get final dimension on those and we're going to be coming through all here tiling all this We've got T sorting this out, stacking stuff up for us, getting it ready, all prepared, so stuff dries out. Got all our ADs up here. Last time we were using Bumper, this stuff's from CTD, but literally we're around the corner from the shop, so it's just really, really easy. We will be going through into there at a later date, but not at the minute. We've just got to join through from a limestone floor, which is in there, which is why we've set this beam up. I, mean, I didn't lay the floor in there, but it's really good. So I'm just gonna follow that through. Got our beam set up here, a little bit light at the minute, so you can't quite see it. It does track all the way through to here. We'll get this line in as usual, like you've seen me do before. Get these cuts done, and then, yeah, we'll be away. So I'll set the time lapse up, and you'll see me and Alex hopefully getting this smashed today and tomorrow. Right then guys, a little bit of progress report for ya. See where Alex is. Here he is, look, going for it. Just getting around where this island's gonna go in the kitchen, smashing this in. Alex is gonna bring all this through this way. We've got a sort of tooth it here, stop a bit. This is the room I said about earlier. We will be going through into here, but sort the old tiles down adhesive. This was obviously the original utility, which is just gonna be repurposed back into a utility that's changing it a wee bit. Through into this cupboard here as well. We will be getting into there. But at the minute, they're going to keep this working just so they've got somewhere whilst the kitchen's being fitted. So we're just going to step this back here, leave that be just until everything's fitted. So Alex is just going to concentrate on this area here today, get back to sort of here somewhere, I think, and then kind of back to where he is now. And then through the other side, which is where I have been. We've got a beautiful day today for it. We're laying a cheeky bit of limestone, check that out. A bit different to yesterday monsoon but anyway we're through here and then this is where me and t have been at it this afternoon so we've just finished off this threshold here just going to bring this across and then work our way back this way today unfortunately we can't finish this doorway off at the minute we're just waiting for the lights which are being picked up now by the client got one there one there and we have got them in the bar folds through that way and through the other side as well but that's all right Got our expansion joint set up here, so that'll be a nabby wet expansion in there. So Alex is going to carry on through there, we're going to carry on through here and set it all up ready for tomorrow. Ciao. Right, day two on this project. Made some really, really good progress yesterday. It's looking mint in there. Clients are really, really happy. Uh, so I'm just gonna quickly walk you through, see where we got yesterday, where we started today, and sort of where we need to be. Because today's Friday, we've got a letter dry over the weekend. So how we're gonna sort of set it up and leave it ready for Monday, and then why we do it. So I'm just gonna quickly show you all that. Just stuff about the time of year and how adhesive dries and that. So just little things, but yeah, I'll quickly walk you through now and you can uh, see where we're at. The tile stacks are starting to 
shrink. We're burning through these, which is obviously a good sign. Still got our rig set up out here. Just a few left through here. The guys have already made a start. So we've managed to get all this space done here. Through here, it's all done. Obviously we've got our beam there, which is still set on this line here, coming all the way through there. So we're still bang on that, which is great. Alex just out there getting some cuts. T's getting all the tiles ready for us still. So that's done. And then yesterday also, we had a really good day yesterday. We managed to get all this in as well. So this is 20 mil limestone there, the 600 mil by random lengths. So we managed to get all this in. Got ready for our lights. So we've done a 30 mil hole here for our lights. We've got one there and then we've got one there. They specifically want it 30 mil back from this way and then centre of where this reveal is. So we've mirrored that on both sides. We've also got that here and here and then there's another one there and another one there. I think it's just to illuminate up and over the top here. It's gonna look really nice actually when that's all in. So yeah, that's where we're at. So today we've just got one little bit actually. It's a little bit of a tricky one around here, but it's not too bad, but we're going, we're governed from that hallway. So normally I would try and eliminate this, but we're governed by the hallway. I can't do anything about it. Now we can't do any ceiling and grouting, unfortunately. This is what I was on about time of the year. So these were done yesterday and you can see here, the adhesive is still absolutely ringing in there. It is drying. And again here, you can see it is dry, but it's not dry. It's not dry enough by any stretch of the imagination. So if we were to put our sealant on this, the problem with that is there's still moisture underneath the stone. So we can't seal it because the moisture will just get locked in because it's uh, obviously an impregnating seal that we use. If we do any of that, we're just locking the moisture in and it will have a tendency of bleeding through the stone. So we can't have any of that. We've got to let it dry properly, let it dry natural. Obviously, do not turn the infloor heating on, which some people do, try and force dry it. Do not do that. Massive, massive, massive no-no. Got to leave it off for about four weeks, 28 days. I just tell people a month. Bit of a cardinal sin that is, if you turn it on, all you're gonna do is fracture your adhesive, and obviously that's gonna transfer through to your tiles, even with the anti-fracture matting down, just a massive, massive, massive no-no. Just gonna delaminate your floor, game over. So yeah, so today, yeah, we're just gonna crack on, get it all clean and tidy. You can see Alex is already starting to put a few more in over here. And then yeah, get these lights in and job done. Today we are at a really nice job just outside Warwick. We've got seven bathrooms in total to do here. The tiles are all here. The diesel's all here. Now I know for a fact this has all been supplied by my good friends at Pro Tyler. So here we've got all the Caracol, the Biogel products. We've got proxy resin for the floor. These are our washes. We've got normal grout there for the walls. But again, it's all made by Caracol. And they're pretty cool. Mark supplies us all these bits and bobs. Again, all from Caracol. So he's a good old boy. Always looks after us, Matt. We like working with him. His prep's always spot on as well. They're a meter by 315, I believe. Floor tiles there, 600. There is a feature tile, but I'll whip you upstairs, show you this first one. So guys, this is generally what we do try to do um, on jobs. Mark's been ace on this one. He does all the prep for us when we turn up. He's a darling, but you see we have rolling stroll. It's probably the yellow brick road. I like to show this because a lot of people don't do it. I just don't understand why not. There is roller stroll underneath this as well, but then we always put a sheet down just to be double careful, just in case. We're only dry cutting up here. Got our monster out, 1550 Ruby. Gonna be using that, cause they're a meter. Got my laser and stuff ready to go. This is the bathroom. We have feet tile going there, mirror there. Hello. Shower obviously, recess there. They're gonna have a radiator, towel radiator in there. It's gonna be set back, so they can just grab it as they get out of the shower. The designers come up with that, so it's quite a good idea. And the normal tiles come along here, all the way up, over the top of the door, along here. And we're gonna try and put it all through, so wherever our joint lands, which is a little bit unfortunate that it lands there, but that's what it is, it's on that line. 
just there. I'll obviously correspond that through to this side. So everything is symmetrical here and here. That's what's been requested. I like to do that anyway, to be honest. But yeah, floor tile there, 600 by 600. I'll set a time lapse up now. You can see how we get on today. We'll be back tomorrow, hopefully get it done. Making some half decent progress in here at the minute. A little bit of a tricky one in here, because a lot of cutting going on here. Loads of cutting. Sort of getting around this bad boy here. Alex is downstairs just grinding this last one out here. Got this going here now. One of the things I want to just quickly say about, I've had a lot of people messaging me directly and I've also seen a lot of other Tylers getting messages on this and doing lots of stuff on their Instagram posts, on YouTube and stuff. I see a lot of comments from builders, plumbers, basically just saying like that we're like the tile army when we bang the drum about certain things. A certain thing is dot and dabbing or spotting cooking, whatever you want to call it, when people dab a diesel on the back of tiles. It's not how you should be doing it. So what we've got here is, that is a trail out. Now my apprentice has done this, Alex. That's a 10 mil trail. Then what we do is we back butter on the back of this tile, which I'll show you. And I hear so many people saying, oh, it's quicker to dot and dab. You've got too many voids. You can't get best coverage. You get like zero coverage on your tile. And this is why so many jobs are failing. And I've seen so much of this, especially across YouTube now and Instagram. And to be honest, yeah, it does my nut. It's just so quick and easy to trail your wall, to back butt at the back of your tile, job done. Now I'm gonna hold the camera, turn this around and show you how to back butt this tile up, holding the blooming camera. Get your tile, get your adhesive. And all you do is put on the back like that, job done. And if I take the tile over here, I've got my clips in ready. We've already pre-cut the tiles. Drop that onto my clips. Job done. That's it. I'll just push that into place, put my spacers in, get my clips in, job done. What's so difficult about that? People use all sorts of excuses to do stuff wrong. To be honest with you, I don't agree with it at all. That's just my little piece on that. I've had a lot of people commenting, a lot of people messaging me about it. I know the tilers, and some tilers are getting hammered for it. It's just they're doing their job the correct way. So this is how you should do it. Anyone goes in your house and starts spotting, you see them dot and dabbing, get them out. Not the right thing to be doing, all right? This is where we got to yesterday. So, got this door wall sorted out. Got this wall sorted now. Bit of a nightmare, but we got that dealt with. Beach tiles on. Didn't want to do this last night before we left, because obviously I want to get all the trims on. Got to do the internals, there's loads in it. So I thought, leave it till the morning, fresh head. Got this little beauty set up here as well. So, that's where the tile rail's going, if you remember from yesterday. That's going to be a cheeky little one today. We've just got these two holes to cut for. And then to be honest, it's pretty straightforward. I've set it all up. Toilet area's all sorted out. Window, just got to sort this bulkhead out and lay the floor. Probably going to let it all dry then tomorrow, come back Saturday. Anyway, I'll set the time lapse up. You can see how we get on. Saturday morning, come back to get this bathroom grow it up. Hopefully you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have, please give us a big thumbs up, smash that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so every time we release a new video, you will be notified. Thanks for watching, see you next time. <laughs>